I am actually gonna get to graduate. After all, I think I'm, I'm a different kind of change. I'm a different kind of change. Yo, what's up guys? How are you doing? I hope you are all having a good day today. Mine so far going pretty well. Something that makes it just a little bit better. Look at that weather, just blue skies out there today. So it's all looking pretty damn good. So if you're like me and you got work, don't be annoyed that you're in working and the weather's this nice. Use it to influence your mood at work. Have a better mood because you know the weather's nice outside so people will be happier, which will therefore hopefully make you be slightly happier. And enough of that crappy babble. Before I go too far on with uh, this vlog, I know I'm late on this bit. I just want to say congratulations to everybody who graduated university uh, recently. I think it was about a week or so ago now. So congratulations to everybody who did that because through going to university myself, I know it requires a lot of time and effort in your studies, which obviously I didn't put in because uh, I got referrals and stuff like that. So to everybody who did do it, congratulations to you and good luck with whatever you do next. But on the subject of my referrals and whatnot, I woke up to this email today telling me I got a 2-2. Two, two. So it looks like I am actually going to get to graduate after all, I think. I've got to, I guess, maybe get in contact with the university and kind of find out what that means. Do I graduate with that? Do I not? Will I have to go up there for a ceremony? Shit like that. I'm not 100% sure right now, so I have to look into that. Would I have liked a higher grade? Theoretically, yes. But I know with the effort I put in, which was... Mm, not worthy of a higher grade, I think a 2-2, I'm justified in that, so I am happy. Like I said a minute ago, it, if you put in the time and effort, you will get better grades. I didn't, so I got a grade that reflects that, but I am happy because after having those referrals and after having the possibility going through my head that I may not graduate, I have in fact got my honours degree, so I am happy with that. This weather really does look nice, check it out, got a light little bit of cloud, why am I giving a weather report, just look at the nice weather. Which obviously that is contributing towards my good mood a little bit today. Something else I'm kind of happy about that I wanted to come and share with these two little balls of fluff, oh you're always eating aren't you, is um, I didn't even realise until the other day when Steve messaged me, but uh, it's now been just over a year since I uploaded my first video to YouTube, since I posted it to Facebook, since I put it on Twitter, it's been just over a year since I started doing this. Honestly, I didn't even realize it had been a year. So to anyone who still watches this, who has been watching since the first video, thank you for sticking around for the last year. Uh, thank you for clicking on those videos and watching them. Now to anybody who's maybe a slightly more recent viewer who watches, thank you for stumbling across my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you enjoy them and I hope you continue to enjoy them because I'm going to try and continue to make them because this is what I enjoy doing. Flops, did you hear that? I've been making videos for one year. Yeah, one year. <coughs> hey. Semper. Tim Benny! I've been making videos for j What's wrong with you? Am I getting too loud? Huh? Godzilla over here. Thumper! I've been making videos for over a year. <coughs> Hold in your excitement! Clearly the excitement is too much for them and they don't know what to do. <laughs> they don't know what to do with it. You know what? Why would you just have a bowl flat on the floor? when you can just as easy eat from it when it's up on its side. Is this the easier option? Is this what it is? Is, is this just make it easier for you? You've got plenty of food left over here. You're all right, hey? You're all right. Blue Dog, I've been making videos for a year now. It's almost as if you don't care. <laughs> One year doing this. You've been in a couple of them. Just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to uh, relax on a bag full of towels. Here's one who may care. Maggie! Thank you! No, thank you! I know it's been almost, it's been over a year! Oh, now you just want to go out, dear. Now you just want to go outside. Mm. I've got to go to work in a bit, so I can't let you out, I'm afraid. 
Oh, look, you heard outside and you think, yeah. You think because I hold the keys, you can come swan him back. You shall not pass! Hi ho, hi ho, it's <laughs> off to work I go. I told you guys earlier I had to go in, it's now like uh, half twelve. Joe's going to the shop, which is along the same route. Joe's going to the shop, I gotta go to work. Uh, I'm going in a couple hours beforehand because I tried to do it yesterday and the traffic was fucking ridiculous. So I'm thinking if I go in early, if I get there too early, I can go and have lunch. And if I get there late, I'm actually on time. So I'll come back to you guys after work. Two thousand years later. And we're back and I am incredibly fucking pissed off right now. So if you guys remember a little while ago, me and Steve spoke about the Joust Academy, the bellends that they are. For those of you wondering what I'm talking about, just picture this, the word Joust, I'm living in a Joust right now. Just do with that what you will. So basically, obviously me and Steve lived with three other people in our Joust. And uh, after we all left, the Joust Academy decided to send a cleaning company in to clean the whole Joust and fix any repairs. Fine, fair enough, that is great, do that, we kind of expected that to happen anyway. But then after we left and they did all this, uh, they sent us an email telling us how much it would cost, that's great, okay, yeah, I'll pay whatever you want me to pay. But they also told me they would be taking money from my account on a specific date. What? That bit is not okay because there is no direct debit between me and this Joust Academy. So for them to be able to take money makes me feel like they still have my bank details, which I don't know here. I could be completely wrong, but I feel like it's illegal for someone to have your details if you have no contract with them or no direct debit. Like I said, I could be wrong. That's just what I feel. I haven't looked into it properly. If they still have my details. That means they can dip into my bank as and when they fucking choose. Meaning, if they wanted to, they could essentially rob me a tenner here, a tenner there, as and when they please. So, after a string of emails just debating the cleaning costs and stuff like that, this is the last email I sent them. In it, I address my concern that they still have my bank details and say, look, I don't like the way you told me you'd be taking money. You should have asked for authorization because to my knowledge, you don't have my details. And if you do, can you explain why? Because I'm incredibly concerned about that. And I also asked them when they would be getting, con when they would be getting in contact with me regarding this payment that I'm gonna give them. Because I'm happy to pay it, I'll happily pay it. Because I said I can't pay the whole thing in one payment, I can't afford to do that. But if you, we can both set up a payment plan, that'd be great. 11 fucking days later, I get a phone call while I'm about to leave for work saying, Hi Grant, it's the Joust Academy. Can you pay us all the money you owe us and can you do it on the 31st of July? No, I fucking can't, Joust Academy Bellend. I emailed them and told them prior to that phone call, in fact, the last time I said I can't pay you the whole thing, I'll pay you in payments. So why are you asking for the whole thing on a certain date. They also emailed me on that same day, basically just an email version of the phone call. Did they address my queries regarding them still having my details and when they'd be in contact with me? Did they fuck little pricks? So because they waited 11 days to call, uh, because I am a mature, responsible 24 year old adult, I'm gonna wait 12 days because by that time, the date they wanna take the money from my account would have already passed. So if they've done it, they've not got my authorization, meaning they have robbed me and I will be reversing that transaction as quick as shit. Cause I think it's fucking ridiculous that a big company can just feel like they can take money away from ex-clients. But speaking of my money, one place I am happy to spend it is my big sister Steph's Just Giving page. As you can see there, I have just donated £20 to her page. On the 22nd of October 2017, Steph will be doing the Great South Run to raise money for cancer research. She is doing the run in memory of our gran who recently passed away with cancer so if, if you want to donate to her page or you want to read up more on the story i will leave a link to her just giving page in the description below and it'll be in the description up until the time of the race she is currently on 40 pounds while i'm recording this her target is 250 so if you could please donate or even just share the page to help raise awareness and help bring in donations that would mean so much to her and me on that note i am going to end today's vlog you guys 
So if you've enjoyed this one, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to let me know what you didn't like and what you think I can do to improve in the future. I'm going to be back in a few days, you guys, with a new one. But until then, just remember, you are the most important person in your life. So try to live with no regrets. Peace out. See you again.